Cal Smarty to show you some of the great new features and improvements of the Smart Word and Smart Notebook software. Let's start off with the Smart Word. Smarty, you can do some really cool stuff now. Can I show them about the new feature you have, multi-gestures? That would be swell. All right, great. So um, why don't you clear out and I'll give them a show. Really, really easy and really simple to use is the new multi-gesture function of the Smart Board. It makes using the board so much easier. Before, I would have to pick up a pen, I would write on the board, and then I'd have to put the pen down in order to do something different. But now, it lets me do three things while still holding the pen in my hand. A lot faster and a lot easier for teaching. So let's start. I'm going to choose an ink color over here, and I'm going to write the word Smart Board. While I'm still holding the pen, I can use the back of my hand, my palm, and just go like this. Erase. Really, really cool, really simple. Again, while still holding. Before, I have to put this down, grab the eraser, or use the eraser tool, and switch between. But now I'm still holding the pen, it makes teaching a lot quicker. The last thing I can do is that the smart board is so smart, in fact, that it knows the difference between the tip of the pen and my finger. I can use my finger to move stuff around on the board while still holding the pen. And I think that that is pretty darn smart. So that's not the only improvement that's going on. There's a lot going on behind the scenes in the new notebook software. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at some of the new features in notebook software 10.6. It's different on the PC than it is on the Mac. So let's take a look at the PC side first, and we'll look at the Mac later. There are two new tools that are added to the toolbar. First is the transparent background, and next is the measurement tools. So we're going to take a look at how to use the transparent background, which is a really powerful and very cool feature. To do so, I'm first going to pull out some stuff from the gallery over here, just some pictures and uh, animations or whatever, just to throw them onto the, the main stage. So I have my pictures of my oranges, I got my apples, and um, now I'm going to click on the transparent background tool, and you'll notice that it gives me my entire desktop. But the cool thing about this is I can actually move these tools around. Whatever I've put on the smart notebook, it's actually seeing through to my desktop. Now, you do get a full pop-up of tools, including the pen, next page, add a page, go back, um, erase, capture, which is really great. But the really cool thing is that you can, act, you can actually interact with what you've put on your notebook software, such as a ruler, and move it around on your desktop. So over here I have a ruler from the, from the tools, and I can just take it and measure things on the desktop or part of the smart notebook. I actually have a compass I've pulled out, and I could use that to measure anything I want, whether it be uh, from the internet, or whether I want to measure something on the desktop, or even a program like Photoshop. Very, very simple and very, very useful. So the really neat thing is that everything I'm doing now, when I go back to the Smart Notebook software, is going to be recorded onto the page. So I end my transparency mode in a moment, and you'll see that all the work that we've done adds up right into the Notebook page. So that happens to be a really, really useful feature. And you can do a lot of other stuff with that as well, but let's go and take a look at some of the other features they've added to this. I'm going to start a new page over here, and let's take a look at some of the measurement tools. They're really neat. So I showed you the ruler a moment ago. But if I click on the ruler, there's some really cool things you could do. For instance, I could flip my measurements between inches and centimeters. I can also take the ruler over here and extend it. So I can make it larger or smaller, but I could also, from the arrow at the end, make the ruler larger or smaller in terms of measurement size, which is really, really useful. Something that's new to this version. And the other thing I could do is to actually take it and, and turn it on an angle. And when I do that, you'll notice that the angle over there on the top part of it, in the top left, gives me the actual angle of what it is. So that's a 19 degree angle, which is really cool. So the ruler is very, very useful. In addition, I could do protractors. Now the protractor that came with the software before, it's just a big improvement on that. For instance, I could, of course, change the angle. You'll notice it gives you the angle. I can create, by clicking this one button here, I can create a full 360 degree protractor and I can actually take it and edit it and create any angle I want. So by clicking on that arrow, I can now make an angle. Notice that that's a 29 degree angle or whatever. And if I want to work with it, I click this little green arrow and it pops out the angle on the side of the page. So there I go, now I have a copy. That's great if I'm doing a workbook or if I'm doing some sort of an assignment with the kids and I want to um, use that actual angle as part of an equation or an assignment page. So there you go, I have that angle, I can just drag it around. Very, very easy to use. Now. They've also included a bunch of new features that I've never seen before in the notebook, including a, um, a crazy protractor that um, perhaps will measure right angles. And, um, you know, mathematically, I'm not 100% sure how to use this, but uh, here you go. And it works very much the same way that the compass does. So very, very useful for the math tools. There is a whole suite of math tools we're not focusing on, 
but uh, we'll talk about that later. So here's the compass, and um, you saw me use it a little while ago. Again, you can adjust the um, point on it. You could actually move the angle out, and it shows you what angle it is. And then as you rotate it around with the pen, it'll actually tell you what the um, what the angle that you've that what the um, area is of the circle that you've done. So over here it tells you how many degrees the circle is. Over, of course, 360 on this particular one. But a very very useful tool, and originally part of the gallery for lesson activity toolkit, but now very very simply part of the uh, tool set that you get in uh, in your general mode. Very very nice, very easy to use. Let's see. There's also a couple of neat things you can do over here with the shapes. They've added a few new shapes, which I think are really useful, including this circle one and some of the rounded uh, rectangles and some really cool stuff. You could also now do half circles, which I find really useful. Um, so your drawing shape certainly is a lot easier. We have a rounded rectangle, but perhaps my favorite of these is the circle. It lets you draw the circle from the center point, which is something that I always was guessing at where the circle would go. So now you could draw it out from the center and of course the center dot disappears. Very, very useful stuff. You could also get a whole bunch of different options as well as the ones that were always there beforehand. Very useful. And the line tool is, has been increased as well. You have a curved line now where I can draw a straight line and choose the curvature of it very, very easily. I could do the same thing with an arrow as well. So it's really great if I had like the relationship between two things, like I had idea one and idea two, or if I'm doing life cycles or the cycle of the frog or whatever it is, I can take it and draw a relationship very simply by taking the arrow and curving it around, showing from one idea to the other. So that's very simple to do. Again, click on the line tool, choose the one with the arrow, and draw it out. Really easy. All right, so now let's take a look at the Mac version of this, which has a little bit different features. Some of the things are the same, such as the measurement tools, but they've increased the number of shapes. They have this new shape tool, which lets you choose shapes with different numbers of angles. So over here we have Tri or numbers of sides. We have triangles, hexagons, trapezoids, all sorts of great shapes that you could take and draw out very, very simply. It's not on the PC version, at least not where I was able to find it yet, but it's a really useful tool and again on the Mac only at the moment. So that's the new Smart Notebook 10.6. There's a lot of great features and I'm sure that there's more to come. So stay tuned and I'll be happy to show you more as we go. Thank you for checking out this episode of Edutecker TV. Till next time, thanks.